Hello everyone and welcome to the automation video series where we see the real world transformation from a traditional automation to industry 4.0 system. Now in today's video we will see the difference between industry 3.0 and industry 4.0. Before moving forward I would like to give you the basic idea about what is the industrial revolution and industrial automation means. So if you are new to this topic you will get the basic idea about it. So the first one is the industrial revolution. So it means major changes in how things are made. For an example, from hand production to machine production. For an example, back in the days, we, our clothes are made with the help of hand production. But now in a day, same things will be done with the machines. The second term was industrial revolution. So basically industrial revolution means that making any industrial process run by on its own with the help of a minimum human intervention. For an example, Without automation, a bottle filling will be done with the manually with the help of a human. But with automation, the same thing will be done with the help of machine by pressing a single start button to start the process. Now let's move towards to the difference between industry 4.0 and industry 3.0. So the first difference was the data handling and data sharing. So as you can see, this is the industrial automation process module which is uh, totally automated with the help of electro-pneumatic system. Now, in the 3.0, only a basic automation is achieved where the system is actually automated, but we are not getting any real-time data. So, in a 3.0, with the help of sensor, which is connected to PLC, we are getting a data which is stored on a local place, like uh, data in a 3.0 are only stored on, in a plant. So, as you can see here, if anyone wants to access the data or want to get the data, they have to do that manually with the help of or export it with the help of USBs and download it to the local system. There is a no cloud and a no internet is connected in a 3.0 system. In industry 4.0, the data was collected with the help of a smart sensor and IoT devices in a real time. Now the data can be sent to the cloud platform with the help of internet. With the help of like data we can see on HMIs, then dashboards, then mobile app, there we are able to see the data and to also monitor it. Now this data in industry 4.0, we only not store it, but we analyze it also with the help of a technologies which is like AI and ML. The second point was a main technology used for this system. So in a 3.0, Technologies like PLCs, CADAs, then sensors, basic robotics, this kind of technologies are used in a 3.0. In a 4.0, technologies like IoT, AI, ML, CPS, then cloud computings are used. Plus, 3.0 technologies are also used here. With that, the other technologies, as I said, that are used. So the third point is a decision making. So in the third industrial revolution, the decision making was done manually or with the help of a human. So here, as you can see in this sorting module, we have a three different type of objects, which is like aluminum and uh, plastics and a wood. So to do this sorting, we are using a different sensor for a different process. In a 4.0, decisions are automated and based on a real time data with the help of AI and analysis. So here we can see in the sorting station, we are using a single smart sensor, which is a RFID sensor to do the sorting accordingly. So in a 3.0, the maintenance basically is a schedule based. So if in uh, any working conditions, if any fault occurs, only after that we are able to know that something needs to be changed or maintenance is required or else the maintenance is scheduled. So like every 15 days or uh, per month, uh, whatever the schedules are there, according to that, the maintenance will be done. In industry 4.0, maintenance is predictive and we can achieve it using the sensors and analysis. So if there anything uh, like a working cycle we have to start, so before starting the working cycle, we can basically uh, check that with the help of a received data, we can see if anything or any part have to be changed or the maintenance is required or not. In the industry 3.0, the human uh, involvement was basically high. So how? Because the uh, operator have to monitor, control and take decisions manually. 
for an example if in a system any fault occurs so a person have to be monitor it a person have to control or stop that system immediately then after they have to change manually it system cannot take decisions by its own so as you can see here if i start the process and if i'm trying to stop it in between it will not stop okay so this is a 3.0 module where the process will not stop in a in between if any fault or anything happens in a 4.0 human involvements are reduced because the system basically is a self optimized self monitor and self adjust so we can take a example of a cobot so what happens if in a working specified area if any human involvement or anything came then the robot take decisions by itself and stop its operation so let's see that So the sixth point is a communication. So in a 3.0, the communication is a one way and wired. So the only between a PLC and sensor, the communication happen. As you can see also here, the wired communication happen between both. There is a no internet and no system to system talking. 4.0 communication is a two way wireless and a smart. So basically the systems, machines, even the cloud cost platforms can talk to each other. with the help of using a technologies like iot protocols like mqtt opc ua and a cloud communication so overall in industry 3.0 the basic automation is achieved with a basic control system and a local operation but industry 4.0 take it to the next level which makes the system more smart intelligent and data driven which makes the factories more efficient and a future ready Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next one.